Assalamu alaikum fratelli e sorelle, eccoci qua. Spero che tutti voi state bene, inshallah, io alhamdulillah sto bene. Oggi ho deciso di, di prendere un argomento e eh, riferimento a un video che ho fatto qualche giorno fa sul mese di Muharra. Appunto oggi volevo approfondire eh, questo mese perché il mese di Muharram appunto è uno dei più importanti eh, mesi del calendario islamico eh, ricordando appunto il, il giorno di Ashura che è il giorno che comunque dobbiamo eh, assolutamente digiunare perché è molto importante e appunto questo digiuno eh, è riferimento a degli avvenimenti storici accaduti eh, sulla storia dell'Islam come per esempio appunto il sabbataggio del nostro profeta Mosè e del popolo di Israele dalle persecuzioni del faraone. Oggi appunto voglio farvi vedere un video di riferimento a, a questo avvenimento storico ehm, con le sue versioni del Corano. Guardiamo insieme. The Pharaoh, Firaun. He was living at a time when Musa alayhi salam was sent to Allah, uh, sorry, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the people, basically to him and his cronies. Allah Almighty sent Musa alayhi salam, the Prophet Moses, to who? To Fir'aun. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا مُوسَى بِآيَاتِنَا وَسُلْطَانٍ مُبِينٍ Allah says, and remember when we sent Musa alayhi salam with our signs to who? With our clear signs to the Pharaoh and his cronies, his people. Now, why did Allah choose to send a messenger to the Pharaoh? It's important to know this. Imagine Allah sending a prophet of his, a noble prophet, an amazing human being, one of the five top messengers of Allah, known as Ulul Azmi min al Rusul, the ones who had great determination. Do you know who those five are? If someone asks you as a Muslim, who are the five greatest prophets? What's your answer? You have to say, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam, and Nuh alayhi salam. So that is Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Noah with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, five. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon all of them. So why would Allah send one of these prophets with determination to a man? Because he was wreaking havoc on earth. And because he was oppressing people wholesale and because he kept on calling himself a God and because he was really, really nasty and Allah wanted a lesson to be learned by everyone right up to the end of time. That's the reason. Did the Pharaoh become a person who changed his life and bettered himself? Not at all. He became worse. You follow what I'm saying? Allah sent a messenger to someone from him to guide that man and that man was not guided. How's that? This goes to show you and I that sometimes Allah will send you signs. Don't be a Pharaoh. Take the sign in your stride and make sure that you have changed yourself. When we say don't be a Pharaoh, the Pharaoh was the one whom the signs came to. The signs that he asked for came. But he still denied. That was the Pharaoh. Astaghfirullah. My brothers, my sisters, let's learn something very interesting. The Pharaoh had many gifts given to him by Allah, but he abused that. He abused it in the worst possible way. He didn't recognize them as favors. He thought, it's me. I did it. I'm the one. I'm the sharp businessman. I made my money. I propelled myself into position of authority. I'm the boss. I'm the king. And later he began to say, I'm the God. The 
The Pharaoh told his people, oh my people, I don't know of any God that you people have besides me. Oh no, oh no. A man who uses the loo, calling himself a God. A man who has stomach problems, who needs to pass wind, calling himself God. A man who actually becomes sick and ill, calling himself God. A man who can't solve his own problems. He wanted to capture one youngster because some fortune teller told him that there's going to be a youngster who's going to remove you from your throne. And so he started killing all of the boys because he didn't even know who the youngster was. And the same youngster was brought into his own home and was looked after by his own wife. And the poor fellow who called himself the God of the worlds didn't even realize it's happening under your dirty, smelly nose. That was the man. He calls himself God. What did he have? He had nothing besides material items of the world. Let's not be pharaohs. Let's understand in our lives when Allah gave you something, don't think you are it. Don't. Don't allow it to get to your head no matter what. What, what could it be? Let's look at what the Pharaoh had. Number one, he had a lot of wealth. A lot of wealth. When you get money, initially you're looking for a job. You're trying, you go to all the people, please give me a job. They kick you out. You go to another door, give me a job. You apply here, you apply there. Listen, listen, listen. You apply everywhere, online, offline, in person, via someone. Use this, use that and you apply and you're looking for a job. At that stage, you know that you are a nobody because you are in need of this job. And then suddenly one day you get a job, boom, I'm a driver. Woo! I finally got a few rands in my pocket. Hey, I'm a big man. Mashallah. Allah bless you. Allah bless all of us. That is a blessing of Allah. But Allah is watching. Allah says, look, I threw a few rands in your direction. What are you going to do? And then suddenly you get a promotion. You are in charge of the fleet. And then you become a manager. And then you have your own business. And then suddenly it's growing. And you forgot. One day I was running around looking for a job. Now you got this business of your own and guess how much you're making you're making enough to employ 30 35 40 50 people and now you start speaking to them rough but when your boss used to speak to you a little bit rough telling you why are you five minutes late you used to get upset and say this man thinks he's arrogant but the way you are speaking to the people who are now working for you you forgot Allahu Akbar you were so quick to forget right that when I was young and when I was still working for someone, I did not like the way they spoke to me. Today I'm speaking 10 times worse to the people that are working for me only because I got followers, a few coins, a few coins. That's what it is. You got a few rands or dollars or pounds or whatever it may be. And suddenly... You think it entitles you to speak roughly to people. La ilaha illallah. You are a little pharaoh in the making. My brothers, my sisters, that's what you are. Mashallah, veramente. Eh, questi versetti e questo video eh, rivelano appunto forse il miracolo più grande del nostro profeta eh, Mosè. Eh, quando appunto, come abbiamo visto, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ha, ha creato una via di fuga per il popolo di Israele e per Mosè appunto dividendo il mare e creando al suo interno una, una strada per loro e, e comunque il popolo di Israele e Mosè appunto eh, si salvò e mentre il faraone con le sue armate nel tentativo di seguire Mosè eh, annegarono nel mare eh, io devo dire che veramente questo video fa vedere un'idea di, di come poteva essere eh, quel, quell'avvenimento storico è veramente qualcosa di veramente meraviglioso eh, veramente una cosa sorprendente un miracolo veramente eh, molto 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 grande eh, io spero che questo video vi è piaciuto e spero di vederci presto inshallah e non dimenticatevi di commentarmi e, e di seguirmi. Assalamu alaikum.